for a guy who's such a rich businessman, the eighth richest man in the world, he's known for his data and sort of his micro-targeting. He really did not use his money well. I mean, there's all these stories about him paying staff ridiculous salaries, um, <laughs> screwing over local candidates because he's poaching staff with his just very lucrative offers, stacks of iPhones and sushi dinners every night at his headquarters, and then he spent a really large amount of his money on these media buys, whereas in reality, he could have accomplished so much more if he had micro-targeted the base of voters that was most supportive to him. And just had these, ma- I mean, he's got $64 billion, the most that's ever been spent on a presidential campaign in both parties is a billion. He could have just thrown so much money into just busing those voters out to the polls, getting them registered, canvassing at their houses, and busing them to the polls. And that's it. That's called astroturfing, and that's how you win an election. And it, it behooves me that Bloomberg didn't think to do that. <laughs> everybody said he's buying this election, and in reality, he's not. He's mm. he's completely bungling everything when he could just do things differently and actually buy this election. And we can debate the morality of that, and I think we should. And I personally don't think that's a good thing at all. But the point is, if I was Mike Bloomberg and I really wanted to buy this election, I would have done things very differently. <laughs>